Morning all, right, today it's Monday, it's absolutely hammering it down, and today is day one of the light and rewire. Um, I'm using kinetic switches again, I'm using a different brand, they're called NRJ. This is my local wholesaler that they supply them. Um, I ordered them a couple of weeks ago, um, hoping they'd all be here, and we've only got half, and the rest of them should be turning up tomorrow, fingers crossed. Um, tried to be as organised on my part, but unfortunately, I think with the whole COVID thing and still being stuck abroad, it's fair and a bit difficult. I think in hindsight, I should have pushed the job back another week, but I'm so busy, I haven't really got time or chance to push stuff back without really delaying other jobs and this and that and builders and all that stuff. To then top it off, we've been doing EICRs for um, a local estate agent. So we've got remedial works to do. We've passed one, sat uh, one satisfactory, a couple unsatisfactory. Um, just a few minor points and whatnot, um, you know, single insulation outside of down lights or um, what was the other one? Finger holes in, finger holes, Christ. Um, holes in the bottom of a boiler, you could put your finger in and then top of a isolation and whatnot. So we're gonna go and sort a few things out. So today we're doing day one of the rewire downstairs and then this afternoon, I say this afternoon, depending on what time we finish, he's going across to do the uh, remedials and the ICR get that sorted and then another little job afterwards and then Tuesday will be day two upstairs lights and then day three refuse board I've already Adam's coming now um, I've already rang Western Power they've come and fitted a new main fuse and um, here he is Yo. I see you now. That's steamed up. Sorry mate. I can see you at all. Um, your seat's just uh, your coat's under the seat. Oh. Um, they fitted a new uh, main fuse and uh, an isolator for us, didn't they? Um, luckily, we went and saw the job properly first hand and, and tested. There was no main earth, there was no TT, there was nothing. So that's all sorted for us, ready to change the board over at some point. So, uh, yeah, wholesale, I get all the stuff for this. I already pre ordered. Oh, I bought you some stuff from Tesco Garage. I know it's the, the cheaper brioche. I was obsessed with brioche. Um, and I got you a red monster or a, yellow, a white one, whatever you want. Cheers. So yeah, we go wholesaler and then we're running for the job. Okay, we're here now. We've got all the connect switches, thank God. It was enough. Um, so this is the situation we're in. It's single core, but down here you can't really tell. But upstairs, it's um, it's like lead cable. So fuse board wise, rewirable fuses, lighting one down the, oh sorry, sockets one down the bottom, lighting one, bit of a mixture of both. Western Power have come in and put a TNS system in the bottom. Um, the old one that was disconnected years ago by the looks of it. Put an isolator in for me. So these are going to get ripped out. We're going to do a main one at the top, take this shelf out. Uh, we've gone around with this uh, big rolls of tape protecting the stairs and everything. So I'll show you up in the loft because you can see the cable more. Oh, here we go. Right. So this is dark. Hang on. So this is the cable here. I've never seen anything like it. I think it's lead. Um, but all the lighting circuits, I mean, you can see it. I'm trying to do this without. You can see it all running across here. And the only reason we found out about it is she had a new bathroom fitted. And when the plumber was up here, doing some pipe work or did something, he knocked one of these cables, shorted it out and tripped the board. Um, and then obviously I came to repair it and was like, oh, I don't know, I've not seen this before. Looked at it all, obviously there's no worth in any of the fittings, single core, um, so hence the reason for the lighting rewire. Um, obviously we'd, we don't want to damage any walls, that's the whole reason we've gone with kinetic switching again um, it's just become more and more popular stuff like that polystyrene ceiling so we're going to put a 2d led fitting up there get rid of the pull cord that's going to be an external switch the all the new pen that's going to be changed for new boom oh this is a good time adam to talk about hi talk oh. about all the uh the stuff snickers sent us so snickers have sent us the summer range stuff 
Um, we took some pictures the other day. I'll put the uh, a little slideshow of the pictures online of me and Adam's mint modeling skills. Um, but you've probably seen it before, so you've got the high-vis one, the blue shorts, the lightweight jacket, uh, Adam and my new shoes. Um, they sent us all this stuff to try out. I mean, we can't complain at all. I love Snickers anyway. And with the lightweight, the durable, um, really flexy, because I've put a little bit of weight since COVID, I'm not gonna lie. A bit stretchy, nice, nice lightweight. Um, but I'll put a link in below so you can check them all out and have a mooch yourself. But um, I'll probably put these pictures on Instagram as well. But yeah, really nice, check them out. So what the plan is, we've checked in the loft and some light fins there's no worth. But at the board here, uh, top one, there is old colours, red and black, but there's an earth connected, sorry, CPC. There's a CPC connected there and it goes upwards in this box in, into the ceiling somewhere. I need to double check what that is. But Adam's clearing the cupboard above now, so potentially we've got an earth for upstairs and downstairs lights run to the board, which means we don't have to damage any of this. So Adam's taking the cupboard up, we're gonna get a board up there, potentially see what situation is there. And then the plan is we bought some new multi-tool blades, charged all the batteries up. We're gonna go to town on the floorboards, get our cable runs up, take some lights downstairs, and yeah, sort that sort of mess out. Hey Adam. <laughs> okay, the newer cable runs to there, to that JB, and then to the older cable tapped off it. JB. <laughs> JB. So instead of um, damaging any of this, we're just gonna put some M2 trunk in, save some in this far corner. Um, it should hide it quite well to be fair, so we can just drop a new line feed upstairs and downstairs from here to here. Uh, Adam will take you. Do you want to show the floorboards upstairs? Yeah. You allowed to speak as well, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you? <laughs> There's not much to say apart from we found a bunch of cables. So, yeah. Empty out the cupboard. Oh, wait, there, I can get the uni light. Forgot the uni light, didn't I? Oh dear, oh dear. So we've just got these floorboards up and that's what we found. So all the cables coming down up from that fuse box. So yeah, I'll have to get a new feed up here and then just tap off that into all the downstairs lights and then get one from there straight up into the loft for all the lights up here. So the young apprentice is taking, oh sorry mate. Have I distracted you? Um, now we know we can get the cables up there, that's fine, happy with that. We're going to do cable runs. So we know there's a life fit in here. All this has just come out of that cupboard, by the way. Nice one, lad. We're going to get carpet up here, because we're going to have to run it onto here. We can run across to that life fit in. And then same here with the kitchen. So we'll end up just taking a length of board all the way up here, and we'll probably just do that, because this cupboard will cross through. We made this wardrobe and we'll get this strip up as well. That'll allow us to rub through as of where we need to. When the feed comes up from the board. <laughs> See this? What's up? Still got all the little spikes in it. Oh, a little tacks. Yeah. Tack it down. You got your finger? That's fine. It's sweet, sweet baby fingers. Um, when the feed comes up here, the downstairs light joint box will be here. I'll have all the receivers in, and then we'll just carry on the feed straight through for the upstairs lights across. Like it in the other one. We'll just do it near the hatch where it's accessible, label it all up, um, that would be the receiver box up there. So, let's spend a little bit of time pulling floors up, get with the multi tool, get the boards up both sides, and then we can report back. So my plan's already gone to, to hell, and lots of swear words later, quietly to myself. The boards in there... Yeah, the, game, the, the, yeah. Right, the boards in there run that way, so the beams run, the joists run that way. I thought, perfect, we can run across the stuff just literally in the next room now the boards run this way and the jewish run this way so it means i can't run across all these light fins so it looks like we're gonna have to shift all of that somehow to get to the light fin no in the center of the bed. Oh. Yeah, like <clears throat> lovely bit of a uh, drilling for the joist there no that should be a noggin that bit that's just a noggin between the joist Still not the best, but yeah. Right. Go with us. 
Just a, yeah. Few Same as before, mate. Yeah. So put this on because it's. I think when we change the, I'm not going to charge you for it, but I'm going to get some LED lamps because the lighting is terrible. Got a few up there, and then for some reason, it's probably because it's around the staircase. The joists will change again, but I can't get to that fitting over there because that's in the way. So what we're going to potentially do is take the carpet up this side, bring the cable round here, and it should be able to run across. But hey, it's going to be one of them. And then it's the other side of this, so you've got another cupboard here. I've just found a fat spider. Oh, he's there, look. I see him. He's a dead boy. That's a thick boy. <laughs> um, same thing again, we're going to get this length up to do the lounge, which is below here. Look at that, two lounges, isn't she? Yeah. Lovely lady, by the way. Another bedroom. So we get the floor up here across, and then the bathroom's here. So obviously, we can't be going under here. So we'll be going that away. So. Just want to get downstairs. Downstairs lights marked off today because it's one of them absolutely pain in the bottom. But um, once we've got the downstairs sorted, upstairs should be dotted because there's not one thing in the loft. It's just going to be mask and gloves jobby because it's very dusty and old. Um, yeah, change all the fittings over. And we've all got the wooden blocks on it to fix too. You can see there, let me get my UV lighting on. That's the state we have for the lighting. It's taped, it's round, there's no earth. And that's on every single fitting, as well as that fitting, that's on a polystyrene ceiling. If people don't know who's new to trade about polystyrene ceilings, I don't know why they were ever fitted, to be honest, but if these ever catch fire, it's just molten lava that drips from the ceiling. They just melt and drop and it's, Highly, 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 Adam, highly dangerous. So, get an LED fitting on there, plastic one, contain the uh, contain the wiring, especially with obviously with an earth. It's waffling now. It's waffling now. Let's help Adam for a bit, shall we? Okay then. Goodbye. We've just turned the oh there. We've just turned the downstairs line circuit off. I'm just dropping the first one. So this is what you can see. I don't know how you can see it on the camera. Um, stripped cores, like there's no earth. I think it's rubber, so these are going to come down now. But I'll show you around the different fins. Yeah, it is. is it fins down? Fins down. The difficult we've got because they've got ceiling roses. That's what I call the ceiling rose, the plastic bit. The holes are so minute. We might end up um, doing like a 20, 22 mil hole in it carefully. We'll have to crack it or split it. So then run our new cables down. Well, it's only one, one twin. I know, but CPC. I presume, mate, it's in the black conduit. Yeah. Well, it's not this far over, it's more. Let me see if you can see it on the camera. Everyone's going upside down for a minute. Yeah. yeah, I think it's it, mate. They go down. The oh, sorry, that, that's for the um, lounge, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, there's one that goes. We have one for the hall. Is that one that goes all the way down? On my camera. Oh, yeah. On my camera. Camera. But there's one here and here. Can I pull that out? Yeah, it's just these. Look, there's a four that go straight down. Yeah. There you go. And there is the lead covered cable oh. that runs to the hall light. Why is there so much exposed in it? Shoot it. There would have been grey insula black insulation Take off it. that. Oh. But yeah, look at that. I can make your name out of it, mate, if you want. <laughs> so we pulled out what we can think is the neutral in and out and then that was your switch live but there was only two cables visible could take me hands off i should wear my gloves there's only two cables visible underneath the ceiling rows so we presumed that there was a joint above the ceiling rows but below the ceiling level 
and it was this one. We just yanked this out. So that was how that was connected and twisted together. Um, you can see the insulation line being ripped off there. That's how that was connected under the floor. So yeah, and that's still all the lead cable. So yeah, well, that's that the, way, yeah, so that'll feed through there now and probably back to the board, back through that cupboard, potentially. Yeah. Um, so that's the hall light. Then we're gonna do this one here, which feeds down to what will be the lounge down here. Yeah, let's trace some of this out and pull out as much as possible. Well, we did go with trying to pull these cables out, but it was near impossible. So I've cut a bit, a few bits off just to show what it's like, but, oh great, smallest one. So that's now snapped. But yeah, very strange, very cool. So I've never seen it before. We'll be able to get some longer lengths out. And um, I think Gary from uh, GSH, I'm gonna save him some lengths and uh, send him across from so you can have a look at them. Even possibly J JW, the old John Ward, if you want some. Sorry, it's a bit dim and, and, and dingy. I want to tell everyone what just happened, mate. Uh, I went to the van and got stung by a bee. Yeah. By a bee, you sure? Yeah, yeah, by a bee, yeah. Come in. Ah, it's been bitten by a dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it was massive. Got around the forehead, it's not too bad. So, what we've been doing, been using the hoover, and we drilled a hole straight through the side so I can get a rod up. It's just skimmed the joist with the bottom because obviously all these old cables were brought through the center of the joist. So I've just skimmed underneath it at an angle. Same in there. We put the plastic sheeting down everywhere and same in there. So I think we both decided what, what's probably the best plan of action is can you get these three done first? The next one for the dining room is top of the stairs. Yeah, so we're gonna have to move all this stuff around. So we're gonna try and get these three done, scoot some cables across, put this back to where it should be, and then move the stuff from that bit into this bit. So yeah, all fun. Enjoy yourself, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same Z. Yeah. Okay, right. Cables. Can you see my rod? Excuse me? Oh, is it gonna be the next one, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I've been on the phone. We've got the rod up, which is there. That's from lounge one. Add from the cable to that. Put the cable. The yeah, it's from the cupboard. Cable's drilled there for the hallway. <clears throat> because we're also changing over the main fuse board. Obviously, we've got to test sockets. We've already been around previously pulled socket fronts off. Just check most of the time. It's literally just some earth sleeving we need. Um, I can't have breath again. Um, we've got to run a 10 mil uh, earth bonding across to, from the fuse board, all the way across this run, through there, to that far corner, which is the kitchen, which is the main water stop tap. And then the gas is right next to it as well. So we can just do a continuous cable over to do both. Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Whether or not we just run a big coil off, put this here, and put this back. Dunno, dunno, you can plan all these as much as you want, but it never goes to plan. So just wing it, not wing it, plan it, but then obviously adapt to the situation. Do you show him a little present? What's that? What's your little present? What you did a minute ago. What did I do a minute ago? Oh, your screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. It's impressive, that is. Yeah. I was trying to get the bit out of a hole saw, and at the same time, I was pushing the piece of wood out of the hole saw. I pulled the trigger on the drill and <clears throat> yeah there you go mate just go down there and it'll come across yeah then you drill the one to the left yeah mm -hmm. uh, what Adam's doing he's got two drums of one mil and a ten mil earth drill that through and he's just going to rod these through you have to drill through this one as well dude to be fair you can get the multi tool to notch that because that's just a a noggin um, yeah he's putting them all three together just doing one pull at the same time so one of them will go to the kitchen, one will go here to the dining room, and then the 10 mil will just then go across and disappear over there. Sorry, Adam's making a racket. 
I just took the light fitting down in the kitchen. It's an eight foot strip light. I mean, Jesus. This is one of those, we're putting an LED one up, so, but I just thought I'd show you, because that is ridiculous. I've never seen an eight foot one before. But that was fun, putting up and changing. It was fun taking down, to be fair. Have fun, mate. Yeah, all right, man. All right, I'll help you with this bit now. All the switches are off, light fittings are down. Pulling that through. I think I might. I've already taken them all together and stuff. Sound. Just got to start the jigging. Run, Get the run right. Start jigging this bedroom around. The lady just told me when she bought this house, it's a big house, it's a nice house as well. 16 grand. 16 grand she paid. Even that's cheap for like how old it is. Like. Well, she said it was expensive at the time. I just think, yeah. 16 grand, that's amazing. Um, right, and now it's worth what? 350 grand, something like that? Probably 400 I mean, here. Yeah, I mean, it's all Their relevant to the time. Three, no, there's 450 over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to get some like in-action shots here, Ad. Oh, yeah. I know. Sort of like, I say what we're going to do, and then I'll do it, and then I'll come back afterwards and go, we've done this now. It's just a bit difficult when there's a lot of things to do. And I could put it on the side here, so you can see my pretty face, but look at Adam's beautiful face. Look at angelic face, as people say. With a bee sting. With a bee sting on his forehead. Oh, we found out it was a wasp nest outside, so it was a wasp, not a dragonfly. Get it through. Oh, that's the joys of having big hands. Yeah. It's okay. I don't want to damage your delicate fingers. Oh, mate. Where's the hole? That's what she said. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I've got it. Got it. Ah! Easy with one hand. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's good. Can see you. It's good, y'all. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Alright, where you pull that? Let's just twist it at the end. Twist up. Yeah, go on. That's it. It should be more than enough. We've already run the... Well, a, a very excessive amount, I think, of 10 mil earth, which is... Oh, here. We run loads there because that's going to, oh, of course it's stuck on a nail. So I can take that on now. Let me guess, got no tape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have it. Oh, oh, Jesus. And then I've just pulled, um, let me pull all three down. I'll just pull this one for the dining room. And then we'll uh, get this, put this carpet back down and then get that bit up. Make it a bit easier. Mr. Dunlop. He has this explained. So we're pulling it there. Because this is one continuous piece of carpet, I can't pull up anymore because by the looks of it, it's glued there. And I don't want it to rip, especially top of the stairs. So we're just feeding this under through this board that way. So it'll be looped here, we can put that back down and just move that and then lift this bit up, access it, because the light is literally here somewhere. So that's all right. That can all go back down now. You put it right off? No, no, there's a junction box box, so it's a flex hanging out the ceiling. So we'll just find a junction box. Obviously it's a shame that someone's decided to run all the cables for the sockets like this, but we're not here for the sockets, we're here for the lights. Um, let's see, we'll make sure that no screws or anything go back through that. So, quite <laughs> yeah, I'll do that as a giveaway at the end. You can win Adam's bent screwdriver. Um, <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah, um, yeah, stop saying um all the time. Mmm, mmm, mm, much better. Mm. Uh, it's not this one, mate. No, I know. I was just going to feed it through that and just oh. grab out that that uh, joist line. That's all. Oh yeah. For all I know, it's this next one know. over. <sighs> We've got a plunge today, mate. Yeah. Might, hit, might hit Frank's later as well. Uh, fat Frank's. Yeah. Have a, uh, a sausage sandwich. What have I got on the menu today? 
chow chi chi egg noodles, Chinese chow mein. Delicious. To accompany it, that's just water in there, I just filled it up. Oh, is it? No. <laughs> um, the lady's just changed her mind with the light fitting. I don't know right, the light fitting in uh, the first, uh, the second lounge, the little lounge. Um, just to, she never goes in there, she doesn't want the light. They use the lamps anyway, so it saves us having to move the beds. Yes! So that's it, we've got all the feeds in now. Well, downstairs. Down, what, downstairs, yeah, so. I need to nip to the wholesaler because I forgot to get the um, uh, strip light, didn't I? Was there anything else? Oh, and the bathroom light for tomorrow. But as soon as though it's only not even half past 12 and we've got downstairs pretty much done and a feed in and the 10 mil over. I need to mess around with the 10 mil to feed it down this box in because there's some piping coming down in the corner of the kitchen. Drop it down that and then that's the oil. I said it was gas, it's oil. Just coming through that wall now. We just sat in a garage bit. Um, because it's a billion degrees, it's just muggy, isn't it? It's tipping down, it's muggy. Um, so yeah, the water comes down the other side of this. This is like a little pantry bit. I'm gonna come around and conjure and just come around here to the the oil. I mean, it enters the house there. Oh, no, that's where it enters the floor there. I'm gonna go make the grass, mate. Um, oh, yeah, shout out to uh, to Troy as well, Rhino Trade Insurance. I know Art Sand's been doing Art 5. <laughs> Use Bundy 10, you get 10% off, not just 5. Ha! Jordan. So, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to Rhino Trade as well at the bottom. Right, where we're at, mate. Putting the... I'll just put the fins back up. We just took some trunking up here for now. Do you remember for that? We're going to put the little D-clips in it to support the cable. That's going to be covered back up and left as it is, but obviously cut off of the board. Fins back up in there. Adam's doing that one. I'm now going to go and sit in a little cupboard at the top of the stairs and connect all the receivers in. There he is. With my old pal that I charged last night. Um, yeah. Should I, do, should I do a time lapse? No, I've already done. I've okay, created a time lapse, haven't I? Yeah, the first one. A few times, yeah. Yeah, so I'll just show you after. Okay, so I'm in a tiny little cupboard. A um, few little pointers. The reason why this is this high and not on the floor is so I can sit on something and do it comfortably without bending my knees. I'm getting old now, my knees are packing in. That's up, so we've got a feed. Adam's labelled these up. And that's the feed that I'm just put up. Kitchen, dining room, hallway, lounge, perfect. So, same thing as we did the other ones. Uh, I'm not gonna link it out. I think I'm just gonna do um, feed here on the big way you go, and then just flick it across to each one. Okay, it's been about an hour. Adam's coming and robbed me light. That's where we're at. Not that it's in the middle, but it does. We can easily identify what's what. So we've got feed up. that has gone straight into these. From the way it goes, goes in to each one. And then we've got supply to each one. So we've got dining room, kitchen, lounge, and hall, or something like that. So I'm just going to put a few more of these boards down. I've run this piece capping up. It's going to be the upstairs lights. I was looking at this. You know, here's the old upstairs light feed. Running that cable, love light. Um, normally what we do for the rewire of this sort is downstairs day one, upstairs day two. Mess around with the fuse board day three. But it's only three o'clock. I've got to reconnect this downstairs into the fuse board um we've got to do the bonding so what i've done with the bonding is we've just looped a big coil up in the floor here because tomorrow we're going to bring it across i'm not put the floor down properly the carpet down properly figure out what we're going to do potentially just drill it straight out conjure it down the outside bring it in if we can't get it down that box in and adding bless him out of nowhere we just set up all the stuff up in the loft and um is starting to run cables for upstairs for tomorrow so he just said oh i'll just find the fittings clip a meter excess to it he's going to clip them all back to the loft hatch by himself i said no, no it's all right it's a crap job in it in the loft it's horrible i'll do it and he was like no it's fine i'll do it and he's hoovered up tidied up got him in the loft so he's a superstar he really is cheers mate um but then again like they say we're going to keep the pendants in the same place so there's no decorating so like we said before fingers crossed 
you won't sort of tell that we've ever been here except for new switches and fittings everywhere. So, get this sorted, get it powered up and get some switches linked up. Hello there. Yeah. Gloves, mask, nice, nice. Ah, this sucks, doesn't it? Let me just turn this around. To be fair, I'm glad you're doing it with trousers on rather than my shorts. I don't mind this one, I'm glad. As long as there's no stuff in the last I don't mind it. Yeah, it should be fairly simple. Like I said, there's no insulation. You can see all the way the cables are jotted across, so. Sound. This. Good lad. Right, last little bit. I'm getting knackered. Adam's still banging away in the loft, and I've still got another two jobs to go to. Anyway. Right, I've linked them up. Powers onto them. What I've ended up doing downstairs is um, shh, silence. Putting a RCD fuse switch spur. I've just put a three amp fuse in it um, and just wire the lights in it for tonight. So obviously we've got some RCD coverage. Um, Going to link the switches up now. These are the ones I'm using. Dandy. So simple thing, guys. Let's do hall one, two, three, four. Sweet. And then obviously repeat the process and then I'll, uh, I'll pop you downstairs in a So we're nearing the end of the day now. Um, Adam's still trooping on. In his words, he'd rather get hot and sweaty now, get it done, than having to get hot and sweaty again tomorrow. But I was gonna do it anyway, but he's just gone, yeah, no. And it's a great way to see this. I'll show you tomorrow the clip and he's done. It's awesome. I'll show you tomorrow. I'm not going to show you tomorrow because this is the end of the video for this one. There'll be a part two when I do the fuse board and I'll run through everything. But he's uh, he's awesome. It's going to leave some bounds. Um, he's solving problems in his head before we come into me and, and everything. So yeah, um, these switches I like them, especially for I would say the older generation. Big switch, can't miss it, and they're dimmable as well. If you're holding on, it dims it down. Um, We've re-earthed everything, so that's got an earth tag on it, that's gone up, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. I'm definitely going to start using this more often. Uh, I think I got it for like 35 quid a roll, 100 meters, something like that, off Amazon. Um, I'm just going to leave this down for tomorrow as well. My customer says, fine. He just, I like dust sheets, but keeping them on the van's a pain in the ass, cleaning them is a pain in the ass, picking them up when there's loads of stuff in it is a pain in the ass, and then it goes everywhere. This stuff, probably not the best economical stuff, but it is what it is. Um, let's just pop up say to Adam and I'll uh, and I'll round things off. This is scary, isn't it? He's got an AirPod in, so he can't hear me. He doesn't know I'm here. I can't hear you. Oh, he can't hear me. Damn. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Nearly done. Got the one. He's got one more over there, and then one down here. Sound. I've done your job. I've gone and tidied the van up and I've hoovered and yeah, gone on my phone for a bit, you know, texted some some guys and girls like you do, do you know, on my Snapchat. Yeah. Just joking, just joking. I got tidy up there. You what? Yeah, everything's done. Yeah, just just this, yeah. Just this, mate, yeah. I mean we can stop now if you want, but if you no, want. No, I'd rather get it done today rather than get like super hot and sweaty again tomorrow. Sound, it's just me gonna have to sit up here for an hour and a half. Exactly, I'll do my bit, you do your bit. Sounds <laughs> 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 right about us, does it? Sound, um, I don't know why you can see me, hang on. <sighs> um, this will be the end of this video, but I will do video on the board and a run round of once we're finished, so I will see you in a bit. Let's see if I'm just gonna to add. Anything else you wanna say, Ad? Not really. Bye. <laughs> Bye.